to give a shout out to the Ionian Complex ERT team and all the corrections officers at Michigan Reformatory because that's another place that I work. So I just want to say hi to all that. guys. Michigan Reformatory? Yes, sir. Oldest prison in the state. That is badass. We'll yeah. have to have you on to just talk specifically about that next time. Yes, we have uh, we have a handful of people that hear the show every day from Ionia Max, so I know... Uh... Oh yeah, so a lot of the inmates, a lot of the inmates actually listen to the show too. So um, we're number one in prisons. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give uh, the the headphones up over here to uh, Rick Mathis on my right here from uh, Grand Rapids MMA. Uh, real quick before I let go, I want to say uh, thank you to the club. I want to say thank you to uh, Korean Martial Arts. I want to say thank you to all the other gyms out there, Grand Rapids Mixed Martial Arts. I want to say thank you to uh, Knockout TV for doing a great job for MMA and uh, anybody else that's associated with What are you, Jeff Gordon? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got to say, I, I got to go. We're a good race today. I'd like to thank you, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, you know what, though? You got to give some love to the guys to help you out because I know it takes a, it's, it's funny. You go to an event like this, you never really take into consideration how many people are, yeah. and, uh, and businesses are involved in getting it off the ground. So And do it for nothing. Yeah, yeah. So we'll, we'll let you uh, uh, give some love out. Now let's talk All to right, uh, Ricky, Brian, get in here, man. Yeah, we have some uh, some words. I'm going to... Oh. <laughs> now, um, you've been sitting there. I don't... Have you made a noise? Can you talk? Oh, yeah. All right. There, All right, we go. there he is. All right. I was starting to worry. Like, I... Hmm. How old are you? I'm 18, and and this uh, this is obviously not your first fight. No, no, I'm a four and one. Really? Now, when did you start? Obviously, because the, a lot of people start way way younger. But now that the sport's getting as big as it is, or even starting younger than they have in years past, when did you start fighting? I started martial arts like when I was five years old, but like actual MMA training, I started back in January. Now, what is your uh, what's your preferred fighting style? Uh, take it to the ground. Okay, ground and pound. Yeah, I've got a wrestling background, so all right, that's I like to. You know, bring them down, manhandle them, punch them out. So. Now, have you found with that wrestling background, because that's something I've watched a lot as the sport has evolved, these guys came in with a lot of uh, a lot of kickboxing, a lot of karate background, and a wrestler just comes in and goes, oh, that's that's cute, you can stand on your toes, and they put somebody on the ground, and the next thing you know, you've got your elbow shoved up your stuff, and yeah... Um, by the way, Michael has a wrestling background, but it took place primarily at the rest area along 131 as you're heading north here. <laughs> I've been training with my uncle since I was four. Oh, um, one sweaty afternoon I'll never forget. The shame tent. <laughs> Boo. Uh, don't molest kids. That's bad. Um, so, I mean, do you find that that, that helps you? <laughs> wow, that's when, you needed to say that? All right. Back to the interview. Yeah, with all the other complaint calls I get for you and the things that they think this show advocates, yeah, I gotta say that. Don't molest children. And don't cut up hookers. All right, back to yeah. fighting. <laughs> yeah, I mean, wrestling definitely helps. You have a center of balance. You know how to how your hips are. I mean, when someone's gonna roll you, you know when to put hip pressure down. It, a lot of people that stand up and only stand up and fight, when they get taken to the ground, they just squirm around. They don't really know what to do, and they get punched a lot. So when you're a wrestler, like you... Like a date with Darcy. Right. Right, exactly. <laughs> Only less roofies. So, <laughs> now, I mean, but there's a big transition from going from being a wrestler into jiu-jitsu, though. I mean, when I first got in the gym, I would turn around, give him my back like a wrestler does. Wrestlers hate being on their back. So, I mean, it's a big difference from MMA. So it's nothing like a David Yeah. Jackson. And we bring it around. Well, <laughs> depends on which way you want to go. Now, yeah. <laughs> now, uh, now obviously, there's a uh, there, something has to happen for you to go from wrestling to decide to take that into the uh, into the octagon. What was the the moment for you who decided that uh, this is something I want to get a part of? Is it like is it the women? Is it the just you're getting out of aggression or, or something? You, you have higher aspirations than this or what? Um. Well, the women won is big plus. I mean, if you're a fighter, you walk around and just you got that fighting stick around you, and everyone's like, "Hey, what's up? You're nothing. What are you doing later?" But yeah, no, uh, I know mean, the sales girl you brought with you has been steaming over here the entire time. Smoldering, I believe, would be the correct term. It's not but, that cold in here. Sorry, you can't hide it. <laughs> I, uh, I was always looking to try to get into an event, and to be honest, one of my buddies just signed up out of the blue, and uh, I went down there and watched him, and I couldn't even sit down. I just wanted to jump in, like, sign me up, sign me up, find out you got to get your blood work done and everything else, and I got in the very next event. So, And yeah, make sure you're not bringing Henry the Fourth with you into the, uh, into the ring. That'd be a drag. Yes, A, it's not welcome in the oct <laughs> octagon. Or anywhere else. Yeah, I suppose all the other places where they're like, hey, come on in. I like that we take time out of interviews to state the obvious. Don't molest kids. Don't cut up hookers. AIDS, not cool. Anything else we want to throw out there really quick? Mm, all right. Shock collars on your children. That was from earlier. Yes, yes. Now uh, let's talk to Brian for a second because we actually.